Welcome back to Nosso Grand Garage. The WVO Designs discount code ends on January 9th. Um, the Centrifuge should start shipping out soon. I've been in contact with them. They said they were getting parts in. So, uh, yeah, open orders will start shipping soon. But uh, if you're wanting to get in on that, you've got until the 9th. Um, so that's discount code Not So Grand Garage gets you 10% off. Anyways, now today, what we're going to work on is a small batch test. As you can see, I got my mess cleaned up a little bit. But uh, yeah, we're going to see if thinning the oil is even necessary to begin with. I've been questioned on that several times. Uh, is heat, gasoline, anything even necessary? Or can we just dump cold oil through the centrifuge and let it go? So, <clears throat> that's what we're going to try today. I'm going to do it like I always do. I'll be using the tote in the back corner this time. Pump five gallons up to the top. Let it run through. First time we're going to run through with no heat. And then the second time we'll run through with heat. I'll get weights on both batches. And uh, we'll see what works best. But uh, yeah, let's get started. bucket is full. And we're going to get a weight on the rotor. I haven't cleaned this out or anything because there's not really any need to. We're going to be doing weight comparisons back to back so it does not have to be perfect. Let's get this forward. We are at three pounds, 13.95 ounces. So I'm gonna go on and get the rotor put back in and we'll run this batch through cold. Now, keep in mind, this oil is cold. Uh, this is the first couple days it's been fairly warm out. It's about 60 out right now. But uh, a few days prior to this, it was single digits for several days. So the oil doesn't warm up that quickly. So it's probably still fairly cold, but uh, this is real world testing. So this is how you guys would do it. I'm going to run this through and see what happens. Got the bowl set back in place. Got this lid propped up on a piece of pipe so I can kind of gauge flow rate because with the oil being so thick, it's going to be a little different. So I'm going to start out by setting our oil flow. I'm going to go Half throttle. That's way too fast. So let's slow that down. Okay. That'll work. So we'll go on and spin the centrifuge up. I'm going to go on and drop this pipe out before I start making a mess. <clears throat> and go on and spin it up. We'll let this run through, it should take about an hour, and uh, then we'll throw some heat to it and see the difference. So I decided to go on and run this first cold pass down to our little five gallon bucket instead of dumping it into my finished drum. Reason being is I think I'm gonna do three full passes on this. Uh, one's going to be a cold run, 
One's gonna be a heated run, just back to back. But then I think I'm going to run this, the uh, first oil from the cold pass, through again, heated, and see if we pull out much more stuff. Uh, figure that'll just be a little bit more thorough. But anyway, like I said, it'll be about an hour for each run, and uh, we'll see what we get. This run just finished up. Go on and shut down the centrifuge, and uh, I'll pop the lid, get the rotor ready to come out. We'll get the uh, final weight on the cold pass. Got our scale zeroed out. Three pounds, fifteen point five ounces which comes in at 1.55 ounces of material removed cold. So I'm gonna let this sit uh, while the second batch runs. We're gonna do the second batch with heat at 200 degrees like I usually run and uh, see what that gets us. I'm gonna wipe this out a little bit and uh, get a start weight on it again and then we'll run the heated pass, get a weight on that. Then we'll go back and run this through with the uh, heat and see if we pull out much more. So yeah, let's keep going. Got a scale zeroed out. And our rotor, back at three pounds, 13.85 ounces. So, I'll get this put back together. We'll do a heated pass and go from there. Got our bucket filled back up again. We've got our heater preheating, set at 200 degrees. It's already warming up. I like to let the heater warm up a little bit. As long as the heater housing is full of oil, I like to let it warm up uh, prior to starting the batch. That way, all the oil going into the rotor is hot. But uh, yeah, we should pretty well be ready to run. So I'm gonna go on and get this spun up and uh, get our flow rate set. This batch will not run into the bucket. I'm gonna go on and dump it into my finished drum, which uh, after all these batches are finished, this drum is going to get pumped up there because I am out of fuel. So. I need to get a full batch ran today anyways. So uh, yeah, got quite a bit to do. But anyways, I'm gonna go on and start this batch up and get it going. Well, our heated run just finished up. And we're gonna let this drain for a little bit. But uh, I will say, I did notice we're getting steam out of the vent. So, uh, we didn't get any steam out of the vent with no heat. Could just be because it's a little cool out and there's a lot of moisture in the air, maybe. But yeah, finish letting this drain out a little bit and then we'll get a weight on it. So we've got our scale zeroed out. I will say that this drains a lot faster. Whew, hot. With, uh, with it heated. Oh, actually, we're still dripping out. So we're gonna give that just a minute. We are at three pounds, 15.4 ounces. So a difference of 1.55 ounces. Interesting. Now, this is not taking into consideration the moisture that drained out of the bottom. As you can see, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this or not. I get it in the light. But there's little bubbles down in here. So uh, whatever water would have been in the bowl drained out. So this is just particulate weight as far as that goes. Now, 
with that said and done, I'm going to go on and wipe this rotor out again, get a fresh weight on it, and then we are going to run the first batch through again, but we're going to do it heated this time and see what kind of difference it makes. As I was wiping this bowl out, I noticed something that I wanted to point out. If you'll see that gray streaking, the gray in the sludge, that is water. And that definitely wasn't in the, uh, the first run that didn't have heat when I wiped the bowl out. So this run definitely pulled out moisture that the first run didn't. So that's something to, that's something to note. It's important. Uh, but I'm going to go on and finish wiping this out and get a weight on it. Go on and zero the scale back out. Here's our bowl. It's not perfectly clean, but that doesn't matter. And we are back to three pounds, 13.85 ounces. So now I'm gonna get this dumped into the bucket up there and we'll run it through at 200 degrees. So I'll bring you back when I'm ready to get started. So I've got our heater turned back on, preheating, getting ready to go. Got the bowl back in the centrifuge, got the lid put on, and I got our bucket here empty. Oh. And poured up top. So, I'm gonna go on and get this batch started. Get this unit to energize here. Let it spin up and balance out. Now, I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna go on and start the flow, let this run through. Bring you back out here in about an hour. Not sure if you'll be able to pick it up on camera or not, but we're getting steam out of the vent on this run too. So we've definitely got moisture in the oil. So our final batch just finished up. As you can hear, the centrifuge is slowing down. I'm going to go on and turn the heat off. I'll just unplug the whole thing. But uh, yeah, we're gonna let that drain down, get all the stuff out of the bowl, and uh, we'll see what we're left with. But in the meantime, most of these batches have ran into this drum here. So I need to pump this out back up to my tote up there, or my drum up there. So I'm gonna show you how this works. I don't recall if I have or not. But uh, go on and do that. So I've got all my valves down here turned off. I'm going to open this valve up. And when I turn this pump on here, it should pump the oil up through those tubes back to my drum. Now, obviously, this won't fill that drum up. But... Uh, yeah, I want to dump this drum first, the finished drum first, before I add any more oil to that so I don't accidentally overfill anything. But, yeah, here we go. That simple. Uh, I'll let this run until this drum is empty, which will probably take a few minutes. And I'll shut everything down. By that time, our centrifuge bowl should be empty. And uh, we'll get some weights on that and take a look and uh, get some final numbers. So let's zero out our scale again. And we'll get the final tally here. This rotor is rather hot. Oh. 
drain down fairly well. Fourteen point nine five. So three pounds, fourteen point nine five. We started out at three pounds, thirteen point eight five. So one point one ounces removed on the second run with heat. Now I'm seeing bubbles in this mixture. And I'm seeing some gray streaks as well, which means there was uh, there was moisture in the batch that didn't get caught on the first run without heat, which is kind of a what I wanted to point out. the The heat drives the moisture out. So if you've got dry oil, for sure, you don't have any moisture in it, uh, any antifreeze stuff like that. Um, running it through without heat works just fine. Running it through without thinner works just fine. Uh, the thinning of the oil is what helps remove water and moisture. Uh, it will remove some more particulate the thinner the oil gets, but uh, it just depends batch to batch if that's going to make much of a difference. Uh, in this case, it did not, as you noticed, based on weight. So, yeah, uh, that's going to wrap up this little bit of testing for the day. Uh, if you want to support the channel, uh, there's a PayPal account set up. It's in the description of every video. Uh, we've got Super Thanks enabled as well, so you can go that route if you'd like. Uh, if you've got any questions, comments, complaints, drop them in the comment section below. I try to answer those as quick as possible. And yeah, hit that like button if you would. It helps us out quite a bit. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We appreciate you watching.